Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Coolit Systems Eco Advanced Liquid Cooling. Now this one here is a kit all-in-one system which is made specifically to cool off your CPU. The Coolit Systems do have other cooling products. This one here is for your Intel CPUs, for your AMD CPUs, and it comes with everything that you need in the box. Okay, so whether you have an LGA 775 or an LGA um, 1366, it comes with the different brackets here for all different types of Intel CPUs, including also the AMD, AM2+, Plus, AM3 socket CPUs. It's using the same bracket. And in the manual, it tells you everything about that. It comes with the screw, so you can attach the radiator there, the fan, to the back of your case. And let's take a closer look here at the box for a second. On the box, it tells you about how this is a universal kit. So uh, basically, it's a one piece kit that will fit into basically any type of case okay so it's low profile it's not bulky all right it won't interfere with your additional fans in your case for example it's got a nice copper base underneath and that's going to make good contact with uh, a CPU of your choice now taking a look at it here you can see that it's got the pump on top of the plate that is going to make contact with the CPU and on top of it you can see the uh, there's a fan header that's actually for the pump okay the pump is very very quiet I never heard it okay the only thing you hear is basically the fan on the radiator which I'm going to show you in a second but taking a look here underneath you can see the copper um, plate okay that's gonna make contact it has some thermal grease on it already which is great but um, it does come with some uh, thermal grease which I tried as well here looking at a closer look you can see the different um, settings depending on the socket that you have 1156 1366 775 you can actually adjust it it comes already ready to go for Intel CPUs but if you want to install an AMD CPU you have to attach the brackets just like I'm doing right now so I took off the Intel ones took them out by unscrewing it and then I put these two on either side here for my AM3 Phenom 2 um, 6 core CPU okay so I'm just gonna attach the four screws to put that on there and that's it very easy this is a very simple and easy to use uh, liquid cooling kit and that's what I like about it it's not hard to install and it's one piece and you don't know and it's really strong it's it you can tell that it's good quality and um, here we're going to take a look at the radiator so you obviously you've got the warm water coming in here the, the liquid going in through the radiator cooling off and then coming back out and then just cycling through that okay so that's pretty uh, straightforward two years warranty by the way on this so just so you know and um, also if you take a close look there there's four screws you can actually attach another fan and I'm gonna try that at the very end of this video and see what happens I'm gonna let you know okay so looking here also at this fan it has a four pin header connector here so obviously that four pin is gonna connect to your CPU fan uh, header on the motherboard so here it is installed. I put the uh, radiator at the back of the case. Air is going out, and uh, there are the four screws that it comes with, of course. And um, then underneath here, you can see that there's some thumb screws, two on the bottom, two on the top, and that attaches to the uh, back plate on your motherboard. Okay, you can use a screwdriver or you can use your thumb, doesn't matter. But uh, here is the back plate on this AMD board. And if you're not using an AMD system, then obviously use the back plates that it came with for the Intel system that you have. And uh, that's basically it. That's how you install it. It's very easy, straightforward, uh, nothing um, complicated here. And just remember, you know, attach your, your connectors for the uh, power, one for the pump, one for the, uh, for the fan, and you're set to go. Here is my test system. Okay, using the latest flagship model Phenom 2 6-core CPU, the 1090T. And running it first at default settings without overclocking anything, we're getting about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius running on basically idle, okay, which is pretty awesome. And then running it at full load, we're talking about 30 degrees Celsius maximum, okay. So terrific uh, results here from the uh, Eco uh, ALC system. Now, when I overclocked it to 4 gigahertz, Obviously, temperatures are going to rise, and uh, we basically touched 
on an average idle load of about 30 degrees Celsius, okay, roughly. Okay, depending on how much you're, you're doing on the system, roughly 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. And then at full load, we're talking about 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, 4 gigahertz, full load, 50 degrees Celsius. The ceiling, the top amount of uh, heat that this CPU can take, AMD suggests, is about 61 degrees Celsius. So we're still well below that. And here are some comparisons with other uh, cooling products. So you can see where this one stands and um, like I mentioned to you at the back of that radiator there were four holes right I actually got a little bit creative and I said okay I'm gonna add another fan back there to cool off the radiator a little bit more so there you go I added an LED fan and it actually dropped the temperature another five to eight degrees Celsius okay so take off another five to eight degrees Celsius on all of the benchmarks now that I've got that fan. So terrific product from uh, Coolit Systems. Definitely recommend it. If you're looking for an easy to use, slick, slim, and low profile system, uh, this is definitely good. And um, right now on Newegg, they've got a deal on it. I'll put the link on the side if you're interested. $20 off. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.